anti-hero. Character in a work of fiction that plays the same role than the traditional hero, but lacks its perfection because of the virtues and flaws of a normal person. Akatone is that normal person, not just in this, but in most of Pierpaolo Pasolini's work. Not because it's funny, or because he wants to be different, but because he cares. Everything is out of place. To begin with, the epic music score, right up until then, was used in epic films. And of course, epic characters. People that somehow had the weight of history on their shoulders, and all the recognition that comes with it. There's nothing impressive about the costume, the location, or even the actors. The characters live by the same economic status as the neorealists, but with a different set of rules and plans about how to live their lives. Transgressor. Everything that acts against a norm, pact, or habit. In this scene, our anti-hero tries to win over the gang, a gang that his friend, now in jail, used to be a part of. Akatone's goal is to get himself a job, or at least a way out of town. But not only is he on the wrong side of the frame, but the director is moving the camera from one end of the table to another, creating a mosaic of blank faces. Which means that the gang has heard this story countless times, and Akatone will most likely end up like his body. It seems that every actor seen in Akatone introduces a different character without being pretentious about it. When the rest of the film world was celebrating, Pasolini made films no one wanted to make, or even see. But there are filmmakers that seem to have the power to somehow get people involved. Aside from death, our anti-hero won't have major epiphanies or transformations. Being on screen or off screen, that's precisely what we don't want for him.